Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you a plugin that does it all for you and helps your vocals to pop out the speaker. So here we are in Adobe Audition, and I'm going to use a brand new Isotope plugin. It's just been released today. If you'd like to win plugins from Isotope and loads of other audio gear, get involved in our awesome audio gear giveaway. Head to mrc.fm slash giveaway. That's mrc.fm slash giveaway. Do it right now. Uh, so here I am in Adobe Audition with some sung vocals uh, all mixed together nicely in the multi-track. Let's have a listen. The best in intergenerational music. Wing Radio Chicago. Okay, pretty nice. A little bit flat. Uh, no EQ, no DSing, no compression, no reverb. Absolutely nothing on them at the moment. Uh, so I'm on the master track down here, as you'll see, master track. So I'm processing all of these other tracks in the multi-track and I'm going to run a single plugin. Now, time and time again, I get asked, how do you master vocals? How do you make them sound good? How do you make them pop out? Uh, well, this plugin is going to solve all that for you. Into my audio units from Isotope and we're going to go for Nectar 3 Elements. Brand new from Isotope, Nectar 3 Elements. You've probably heard of Nectar before. It's been around for a while, but you'll never have seen it like this. Go back to default, boom. Right, and it'll ask you this at the very start. What are you going for? So do you want vintage vibes, modern vibes? Are you working with dialogue, for instance, a podcast? I'm going to go for modern vibes. Vintage is just a little more EQE. It's a little more retro in sound. So modern will be quite good and intensity moderate. You click go and it waits for you to play audio. Then it will analyze it and do all of the hard work for you. Uh, listen and watch to see what I mean. The best in intergenerational music. Wing Radio Sh and you can hear there it's starting to kick in. DSing coming in. Adding some dynamics. Finally, reverb. That's pretty cool. That's nice. That sounds good. It sounds clear. It sounds crisp. And all we really did was use the assistant here in Nectar 3 Elements. Amazing. I'm just going to play back now and switch this, toggle this on and off uh, just by this power button here so you can hear the difference. The best in intergenerational music, Wing Radio Chicago. So you can definitely hear the difference there. Amazing stuff. Now, if you wanted to, everything is set at one. Um, so this is basically using uh, some form of machine learning, I would imagine, although I'm not sure exactly what's happening under the hood, uh, to find out your personal settings for this particular set of vocals. So it'll be different for everyone. And then you can go up or down from this kind of one uh, normal setting here uh, to just change things around. So first of all, we'll start over here with the pitch, uh, which will basically auto-tune the pitch ever so slightly if it needs it, which this doesn't really, but I'll show you the difference. The best in intergenerational music. And you can ever so slightly, when you crank it right up to two, you can just ever so slightly hear some auto-tuning going on there. Clarity, let's play with that. The best in intergenerational music. Wing Radio Chicago. Very subtle difference, very hard to perceive what's going on there. Uh, DS, the obvious what's happening, it's reducing the sibilance on shushy sound. Sounds. The best in intergenerational music. And too much of that obviously is going to kind of push down the treble rather too much and make it sound like our singer's got a cold. So I'll leave the DS as it is. Dynamics, uh, that'll add more or less compression. You'll probably notice the difference on this slider. The best in intergenerational music. Wing Radio Chicago. So yeah, really harsh compression when it's up at 2x. Then we've got tone. The best in intergenerational music. Right, that one's really apparent, the tone in the polish section here. Uh, this is kind of like uh, an exciter on the high end really it brings out the trebles the crispness and then the space finally this is your reverb so taking it down to zero is adding no reverb taking it up to the top is going to add a whole lot of space or reverb in your room let's listen the best in intergenerational no reverb. music wing radio chicago loads of reverb there if that's the kind of effect you're going for. So Nectar Elements, place it on the master chain and away you go, get those vocals popping out. You could also use it on a podcast. Uh, let me show you this. This is a little uh, snippet of the interview I did recently with Pat Flynn for the Adobe Audition podcast. And um, this was per the request of my... If you want to subscribe, mrc.fm slash audition podcast. And I'm just going to go into effects, audio units, isotope, Nectar 3 elements, and I will show you how you can use this 
Uh, let's go to default so we get that modern setting there. Uh, again, modern moderate. We'll go for dialogue this time. The difference between dialogue and modern and vintage is it won't add any reverb, which you don't really need on a podcast. Again, you can go for light, moderate, or let's go for aggressive intensity and see what this is going to do to Pat's voice as I click go and play audio. And um, this was per the request of my audience based on surveys that I had run, based on conversations that I had. And I knew I, ha I had to write this book. And I think that's why it was even more of a struggle because it was that important to me. I had put it on this pedestal of this like artifact that was going to be just the perfect thing. Um, and I did that so much that I was struggling to write. And I remember... I had like a four hour block to write. Now you can hear actually what it's done there is it's really, really compressed and tightened that voice to sound almost like it should be used in, in radio imaging. So probably the aggressive is too much for a podcast. If I was to start over with the dialogue setting, I'd probably go for light for a podcast and try again. Let's do this. And um, this was per the request of so my again, audience. again, analyzing the vocal signal to get those optimal run, settings. Based on conversations that I had and I knew I, ha I had to write this book. And I think that's why it was even more of a struggle because it was that important to me. I had put it on this pedestal of this like artifact that was going to be just the perfect thing. Um, Finishing up here. so much that I was struggling to write. And I remember... Now, I'd probably move the tone down because for me, that's just a little bit too crisp for a podcast. And um, this was per the request of my audience based on surveys that I had run, Switch based on off. conversations that I had, and I knew... So it's definitely cleaned up the mod muddy bottom end and any kind of boxy sounds in the in the mids. Really, really cool stuff. And definitely, if you, if you wanted to start making your vocals sound better in a podcast, you would want to use Nectar 3 Elements with the dialogue setting. And I would suggest you start with the intensity light. You can always change the settings later on after it's learnt the best and optimal sounds for your voice. But the best thing about Nectar 3 Elements is it works with the particular piece of audio you play it. It is analyzing that audio and setting the perfect settings for you inside a plugin. Really cool stuff from Isotope. It's Nectar 3 Elements. And if you want to win Isotope plugins and a whole ton of other audio gear, we're nearing the 10,000 US dollar mark on the main prize total now. Just go over to mrc.fm slash giveaway and get involved in our awesome audio gear giveaway. That's mrc.fm slash giveaway and good luck. Yeah. <laughs>